back to another video. In today's video, I have a new train, Gordon, from Thomas and Friends. If you saw my previous video, I have got Edward for my HO scale train table. So if you haven't seen that already, go check that out. And let's get on with the video. So we now have Gordon at the train garage and we are going to put him on the track. Okay, Gordon is now on the track and he is going to go around the lab. Okay, so we are now going to attach Gordon's express coach to the back of him. And he's going to show some tourists around the layout. I've put Edward on the tracks behind Gordon to show you guys a comparison between Gordon and Edward. They are both blue and they look a little bit similar, but they have some differences. Edward has two wheels that push him and Gordon has three. Gordon is also longer than Edward and Gordon's tender is a little bit wider than Edward's tender. decided to visit Farmer McCall on his farm and he is going to go around the farm and make sure everything is okay.
your farm is all good, Farmer McCall. I'll be back next week to show some more tours around the farm. Thank you. See you next week. The New York Elevated Railway. While London and Paris burrowed underground to meet the demand for a fast and reliable mass transit system, New York chose the overground route. Between 1840 and 1870, the city's population had grown by more than half a million inhabitants. The increase overwhelmed the capacity of its horse-drawn bus and streetcar routes, several of which ran along the main avenues. Although it was considered unsafe, impractical to replace horses with steam engines, two local entrepreneurs, Charlie Harvey and Rufus Gilbert, believe their locomotives could run on viaducts built over the streets. They introduced two elevated lines to the west side of Manhattan before financially problems forced the city to take over the project. Under the Rapid Transit Act of 1875, four lines were constructed, and these would from form the heart of New York Elevated Railway, or the EI as New Yorkers called it. The routes ran along 2nd, 3rd, 6th, and 9th avenues, and further lines were added up to 1917. Although the smoke and noise of steam locomotives had been supplanted by electric traction, by the late 1930s, the EI was considered outdated. The lines were demolished between 1938 and 1955 to make way for the New York subway system. Passengers ride behind a lightweight forty tank locomotive of the 3rd Avenue Elevated Railroad in 1896 above the wagons and streetcars of Bowery. Thank you everybody so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!